into the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free During our visit to Glacier National Park, we were able to find places to camp without making any reservations both nights that we stayed in the area. We really enjoyed our visit and plan to return again someday, but for now, it was time to move on and head further west. Chilly this morning. This is really cool. So the reason why we stayed here last night wasn't because we couldn't find anything. There were some campgrounds that had some openings and we could have went to those, but we wanted to prove a point that you can find cheap camping or free camping. First night we stayed, we found, you know, a dispersed camping, which was free. And then we wanted to find one of these uh, places that had the first come first serve that is typically pretty cheap. I think it was $18 here. This was uh, the forest services. When I got online yesterday, uh, it showed that there was a bunch of sites open, but they do fill up fast, especially around a place like this. So by the time we got here, they were full, but they had uh, these places here that the lady uh, let us stay. I don't know that all uh, parks will allow you to do that, stay in the day use, but they let us and a couple down here as well stay, which was really nice. It was only $5. She said, just put the $5 day use pass in your window, drop the money and the little thing over here. I'm gonna walk over there and show you. Envelopes are in this box and you put your five bucks in there and take cash or check. That concludes our night living in a van down by the river. You're gonna end up eating a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river. We did it. We were down by the river. We lived in a van, in a van <laughs> down by the river for one night. All right, well, we got to go back over that horrible road. I don't know if it's always like that when you come back in here, just an FYI. And the camp host, she told us last night that the other direction was even worse. And it was like 20... 20 like, miles 20, of it. Yes, so 20 miles of worse. <laughs> we'll take the two miles that seem to take forever back that way. Two miles of washboard road. It was only two miles, but it seemed like it was 10. dash cam on constantly out the front to get we've had one bear run out in front of the road right in front of us and then this one was right at the edge of the road ran in this was a black bear I still say the other one was a grizzly we're gonna have to wait and look at the footage Every morning at the Glacier National Park entrance, those that have reservations line up early to enter the park. Those without reservations can enter after 4 p.m.
came down here to Hungry Horse. There's this place here. We came the other night. We stopped by and they didn't have any pies. The Huckleberry Patch. It's actually in an article about the ultimate pie route of Montana. And this is one of the stops. Uh, we stopped here to work. I ran inside real quick to get Michelle a piece of pie to have with their coffee. And they told me, they just opened, that they're out of pies. And the kid said it was because they couldn't get any flour. But they were able to make these. Thought about going back in and saying, you said you're out of flour. What exactly is this made from? And oh sure, let me try it. I do get enjoyment watching Michelle eat it. I gotta take a seat and watch this. Probably should just bite into it. Yeah, you just pick it up and just eat. <laughs> I would, I'd just pick it up and throw pick it, it up in and one. It. Throw it in. This actually tastes very close to blueberry or some, you know, some, Does it? a blueberry mixture, berry mixture. It's kind of dry, so. Probably because they probably had these made for however many <laughs> yeah. days since they've been out of tink, flour. Tink, 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 a little hard. Enjoy the pie. Mm-hmm. Hope you're happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. We decided to do laundry here in town. We're gonna to start heading towards the state of Washington. Last time we were in Washington was our very first year RVing and we didn't, yeah. we were kind of limited on what we could see then, so we're hoping to see a lot more this time. Right? Right. Yeah. Turn left onto Treeline Road. Give me your freedom. It said best shake ever. Huckleberry shake. It just happens to be at this travel center where, oh, we yeah. can fill up and get some diesel. After nine o'clock at night. Okay, we're gonna get some diesel too, even though we don't need it. There's a little over a half tank left, but oh, we deserve a treat. We worked hard today. I'm gonna go in. I'm okay. gonna exercise my legs and maybe get a shake. I'm in here and I saw all of these knickknacks and clothes and I thought for sure you were over there. Is it the best shake ever? I think it's pretty darn good. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's really good. Well, I think the best shake ever is the date shakes. In oh, down by Palm Springs. Southern California, yeah, by Palm Springs. Up the road there, yeah, those yeah. were good. Yeah, very. But, Turn right. you used to make some good ones, honey, back in high school when you worked at mm -hmm. little ice cream shop. Mm-hmm. All 
All right, back on the road again. It was getting late and the sugar was kicking in fast from the shake. So we used the All Stays app to find the closest place to spend the night and found a Cracker Barrel in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So whenever you come and stay at a Cracker Barrel overnight, you know, always be sure to go in and give them a little bit of business, even if it's just coffees. Actually, I got this shirt in Nashville at the Cracker Barrel. A couple coffees to go. Okay. Today, we're gonna head down the road just a little over a mile to a Costco. We have some things that we need to get, but we're just gonna probably work there in the parking lot. Anybody order coffee? Found a nice shaded spot here this morning that should stay shaded throughout the afternoon as the sun goes that way. It's supposed to be over 100 degrees today. I'll talk to you guys this evening. It's a hot one today. The AC ran constant all day. It's a scorcher. So we. The van, I don't think it's probably right. It says it's 104, but. We timed it just right to hit Idaho and the Northwest at the time. They're having extreme heat warning for the entire week. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can put it in the sun's town. down the riverfront park in Spokane and wasn't too impressed with the parking areas with I mean there was some places to park but uh, so we're just gonna keep going with original plans and head over to Leavenworth we pulled into this uh, fuel station uh, just to top off the fuel just looking at some of our options Right now I'm using the RV Dumps is the name of an app. There is a bunch of them. There's RV Dump Sites, RV Dumps, there's All Stays. Some of them will say potable water and some of them don't say anything at all. Doesn't mean they won't have it. But we're gonna go to the rest stop first because they're free. And if they don't have potable water, then we'll stop after that. There's a Loves and then after that, there's another rest stop. And after that, there, it just keeps going. There's more places as you go. Since this fuel station isn't very busy, <clears throat> we just made some sandwiches real quick. Found some really good gluten-free bread. Fran's gluten-free. It's pretty good. Are you ready to go yet? Oh yeah. I was waiting on you. I'm sitting in the driver's seat. <laughs> Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, Mona, what I become. Stopped at a Love's fuel station here, and as you can see, you gotta prepay the cashier. They don't have fresh water here. That's just uh, flush, but they have fresh water over here. And I will double check just to make sure. We usually don't like to travel in the dark, but we wanted to get to Leavenworth, Washington. That way we would be all set up for work in the morning and ready to explore tomorrow evening. We made it to Leavenworth last night. Bavarian town reminds us a lot of Helen, Georgia, except this is much bigger, much larger scale. Pretty cool. We stayed all night here in this parking lot. Allow one night in a seven day period here for free. And it's right next to Argonaut Coffee and Biscuit. How convenient. We're gonna run over here before we have to start working. It's early. Can you tell? I'm groggy and tired. Surely not a piece of toast for 8 25 I don't know, gluten-free bread is really expensive. A loaf isn't that expensive. <laughs> it's cute. You've got your own little window right here. That you can go all the way through. <laughs> Oh, that would be Someone's had too much coffee. Yeah. Gluten-free sandwich. That looks really good, breakfast sandwich. What's yours look like? 
too big. Look. Wowza. That's just part of it. Here's that the other, looks awesome. Here's the top. These are supposed to be hand homemade buttermilk biscuits. Yeah, right. Pretty good. All right. We gotta hurry. 822. We better get on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys this evening. Leavenworth is such a cute little Bavarian town that we decided to stay a couple more days. So we called the local KOA right here in town to see if they had a site available, and they did. That way, at the end of our workday, we'll be able to check out more of the town and, of course, the local food. Well, we got a site in Leavenworth here at the KOA. Nice site, number 16. We had to check in at one. It was like one and a half miles here from where we were in that parking lot working. So now we gotta finish up the day. We're ready to party. Woohoo! Well, yeah. as much as we party. Yeah. <laughs> it's after five and we're leaving KOA to go down to Leavenworth Bavarian Village. And I have to mention it's currently 107. 107 degrees right now. We should get Sit outside and enjoy it, maybe by a campfire, but it's 107. All right, we got a little bit of a walk. <laughs> this, is a the, mile. this is where we parked last night, and yeah, it's about a half mile down. There is a bus that'll pick you up, also, but who knows yeah. when it's coming. We don't like to wait. And we're not the only ones. Thank goodness the humidity is only 15%. I said 15%. Believe it or not, Leavenworth was not always a Bavarian style village. Instead, the towering mountain peaks and bountiful land was known amongst Native Americans as some of the most plentiful land anyone had laid eyes on. The Yakima, Chinook, and Wenatchee tribes all hunted the same land for deer and elk, and also fished Icicle Creek for salmon. Settlers hungry for gold, timber, and fur soon settled the area, and by 1890, Icicle Flats was born. The area exploded with the arrival of the rail line near the turn of the century. At that point, Leavenworth was a whole lot less Bavaria and a whole lot more Deadwood. The logging and sawmill business was great, until it wasn't. When the railroad rerouted its rails and moved out of town, it almost turned Leavenworth into a ghost town. The area scuffled along for more than 30 years, always on the brink of extinction. Then in the early 1960s, town leaders had a bright idea to change Leavenworth's appearance to draw visitors. Since the gorgeous Alpine Hills had no equal except in German Bavaria, the city decided to complete the experience. This was no mere facelift. In addition to completely remodeling the downtown area, community leaders created a series of festivals drawing revelers into town. From there, the Autumn Leaf Festival, Mayfest, and the immensely popular Christmas lighting festivals were born and continue to this day. For decades, Leavenworth has been a top tourist destination in the Pacific Northwest with more than a million tourists walking the streets of Leavenworth every year. Ziggy zigga ziggy zigga. Cauliflower crust. Uh, the Haas special? Is that what this one was? Yeah, how special. Uh, oh, here's a yummy okay. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Would you like a picture? That's all yours. I just took my pizza crust, the end of the pizza crust, and used it to dip in the cheese. There's my pretzel. Ah. Gosh, we are so full and drunk as not really. But when you hardly ever drink and you, and you eat all that food and you just have one drink and you're a little bit that's bad. Or is it? That's good. For lightweights. Those are just funny. Sleeping bags, too. Yeah. I just want to say DOS all night long. DOS. DOS this. DOS that. This or DOS. You want some water? Get any bakery items. Yeah, I don't really see anything. 
not even Tum water. No. Cold shocks, we checked and they do have gluten-free buns for all you gluten-free people. I'm thinking ice cream must be good. Day two in Leavenworth, it's after five. We're gonna go see what else we can find. Tomorrow morning we take off and uh, head up north of Seattle. I'm anxious to get to cooler temps because it's yeah. 105 again today. Does it bother you when people think the middle of the road is a sidewalk? <laughs> Parked in the parking lot here. We put in four hours and it was $10.30. The whole day was like $20. Right here, where all the action is. I know that you feel all alone in this world. But you have to put your trust into us and we will help. We only want what's best, what's best for you. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's about 106 degrees outside. Woo hey. hey, it's one degree less than yesterday. Hey, hey Siri, what's the humidity? The humidity is currently 13%. Oh, no wonder it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, 2% less humidity than yesterday, too. Well, we're on the downward torrent. No wonder we're not sweating and drenched in oh, right. sweat already. It's life, and mamas come out of the den and they got their babies. It's a Friday night. <laughs> Parking lots seem full, pretty full. Mm -hmm. But you don't see very many people around. You think it's the heat? Yeah, I think they're inside think they're... eating and drinking. Yeah, I think so. We only want what's best, what is best for you. I got the Big Bob Bratwurst is what I got with a gluten-free bun. I got the Oma's Weisswurst and then we both got German potatoes. Oh, I forgot the German potatoes. Yeah. Like and two ciders. It was hot in there, but food was good. Very good. It's Very rated hot. pretty high. She's and, wobbling. Uh, we know why. Um, apple cider sauerkraut. Oh my god. We know why. Yeah, we know why it's rated high. Oh, we we, we found out. Yeah. <laughs> Six and, and a half percent cider in there. And the uh, the buns. <laughs> the buns are like a locally made. Bun for a bakery. I was born with these buns. Will you oh, hey, shit, grab my boob. Anyway, it's very good. Very and good. What was the name of it? Munchen House. Haas. Come on, Munchen you're, Haas. you're German. Probably Munchen Haas. Munchen. Munchen Haas. Munchen. Um, and uh, yeah, very, very good. That's it right back there. Okay. What? The curiosity has us. What do you mean, what? You know what? She's playing innocent. She knows there's ice cream right up there. And we're going in to get some. Very good. Except, that's weird. Whistle punk. They give you wooden spoons to eat your ice cream, but small metal spoons for samples. It's a little backwards, but... Mm. I want to hear you whistle, <laughs> punk. They gave us an idea of a place to go. We're going to keep it a secret and show you in a minute. What? forgot to say what flavors we got. I got Coco Loco, which all I remember her saying was it had uh, cocoa, or I'm sorry, coconut, caramel, and like chocolate chunks, okay. dark chocolate, and you got maple pecan. Oh, I was both wondering of what them, I got. <laughs> both of them are very good. Okay. Let's go. Okay, the month of May poll right here. <laughs> and uh, whistle punk ice cream right there. And the street right in front of it, right there there right by the guy he won't be there when you come but anyway follow this street straight down and then we take a right and you follow that 
all the way down into a place where there's going to be a trail, she said. And there's this place called Watershed. You take a right of that stop sign and you're going down this hill. This is it. Yeah. This all is right. It. We just came from up that way and turn. There'll be that sign and follow Michelle. We feel that you should allow one to two days for exploring the town in Leavenworth, which really depends on how much time you spend in the multiple shops, pubs, and restaurants. Allow an extra day, of course, if you plan to go tubing, kayaking, paddleboarding, or rafting. In spite of the heat, we still enjoyed our stay in Leavenworth, Washington, and would recommend adding this to your list of places to stop during your travels. We're on an island. <laughs> Right there. Tropical. This was a really fun little village. It's worth a stop. Really, we, the only reason we were here a couple days is because we, we had to work anyway, and so uh, we could only enjoy it in the evenings. Well, good morning. This is it. We are leaving Leavenworth today here at the KOA. I'm going to run up and use their showers. Michelle went in there the other day and said they're really, really super nice. It's a beautiful morning. We're ready to get to some cooler temps. The rig has not had any issues, though, keeping cool. It was now time for us to leave and start heading further west. Our plan is to explore some of the areas that we were not able to see the last time we were in the Pacific Northwest over three years ago. Well, it's that time. Time to disconnect and hit the road again. We push it right on through. I know you need it to because we have a working heart. Had to scrub on them bugs. They looked horrible. Oh on my front. gosh, it took forever to get those bugs off. <laughs> You're not supposed to wash your vehicle in KOA here, at least this one. Um, so I just got one of them sponge, rough sponge, you know, that takes uh, bugs off. A little dish soap and scrub them off this morning. And, Kind of give it a little light mist <laughs> to rinse it off. But, uh, yeah, worked up a sweat. I'm glad, glad I took that shower. <laughs> hey, at least it's still somewhat cool right now. And yeah. we're in shape. Well, I don't know about cool, but it's it's not as hot as it was. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be. No obstacles that we faced did ever slow us down. We knew we'd get here, went the extra mile in every race. We are duty bound. We push it right on through. I know you need it too, because we Uh, Michelle loves her eggs Benedict. I think I got the biggest portions here. And this is a gluten-free waffle and a German sausage and egg. We have no idea why the reviews, when we pulled it up on our phone, it said two and a half star. We usually don't even go to a place when it has two and a half, yeah. but that is absolutely incorrect, at least today for both of ours. Right. The food was really good. The, um, so I love Eggs Benedict, but I'm always very picky about the hollandaise sauce on it. This was very good. It was not tangy at all, because I don't like that. It was almost a little on the sweet side, which is probably mm -hmm. why I like 
I'm trying to push her to get her to turn here. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm like, she was wanting to go forward. <laughs> she said two cups of coffee. Uh, yeah. I'm like, we need to turn. We need to turn. <laughs> Keep talking. We need to turn. <laughs> but you're, uh, you even oh, got your gluten-free gluten -free waffle. Belgium. It was awesome. It really was. Hopefully it was really good. And that's, <laughs> yeah, we'll find out soon. Oh, it's nice to come in with the air still going. And especially on these hot days. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.